polygon laser tools so we are about to use polygon laser to click on it and just um outlighting outlighting the the outer layer because this is where i'm to cut off i want to cut off this place so that we need the image of this woman so this is how you are going to do it so you are you are going to be trimming the edge of the image the last edge of the image so we are about to remove the background so um as you are removing the background just follow the tips line the last line so the line and the image where it end so i'm following this um the hijab that this woman is using um your baby will call it ibo so this ibo i'm tracing it with this so that's where you'll be clicking it i'm clicking um, i'm left clicking on it so as i'm clicking it it's just margin of the line so as the line is clicking at the tip edge of this line is clicking that means this is where i want to cut off so i'm about to cut off the background so so as this selected now that means all this place has been selected and later i'm going to just cut it off so and i'm about to do another one so i'm clicking here so i'll just go through the line and join it so for you to join it you have to see click on this space you have to click on this because if you click on it that means you are removing if you click on this you are selecting two if you click on this you are you are just selecting one and if any time they are just click like this this will be removed the hopper one will be removed so all this one I've done before has been removed. But this one, when you click on this place, it's not going to be removed. It's going to take the second one. So, so I've been selected here now. So the second one is about. Uh, so so far I'm, I've clicked this one. That means it's going to match the two together. It will match the two words together. So I'm about to click on the second one. So okay, okay. So as we did the first stage before the line, just try to maintain your line. Don't go beyond the image. And don't go. Don't cover the background. So we are about to remove background. Any place that you see a mistake there, just click the delete or backspace. So either delete or backspace. So as you are deleting it. As you are clicking on it, that means this edge is going to be deleted. So I want to remove the background as we said earlier. So for you to remove the background, from Bezier to use and I'm just clicking, 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 clicking. So mind you, we are using Photoshop. Photoshop. This is Photoshop. So, All this place that has been highlighted is going to be cut off now. It's still some stain. I'm still going to be a little stain. So I need to remove everything. So that means everything has been removed. So if you want to delete it, just click on this, right click, I right click on it, I'm not clicking again, I'm right clicking. So mind you, as if you have to still hold on to your Bezier tool. So just come here and right click on it. So you click on this folder, it's a folder. So as you sell and as you type the numbers of the folder, that's how it's going to be blended to the image that you're about to do. Let's see. So, if you're about to, we are using 10. So, let's use 10. So, and press delete. Sorry. 
so before that you have to click on this piece this background so double click on it and just press ok after clicking the ok so you can now delete so we are about to take further you can take as much as you want the further you want okay, let's take let's take them for example press click on it and press delete so this feather is going to tip this image thanks look at it look at it look at this place look at it look at it look at it look at it so the feather is too much the feather is what too much so we don't have to click on them so we have to choose five so delete and the feather is subscribe for more videos